printed material should help us go through the material quicker and also give you a permanent thing that you can have to study uh, after we can introduce it and then you can go from there. Uh, many of the things that uh, we will discuss here are common knowledge in the religious world about us. Our religious friends and neighbors, many of them are hearing these things on a continual basis. Let me illustrate. Here is a publication that comes to the school and it says uh, 666. You can get this free if you order another book. and That's supposed to give you the sign of the uh, mark of the beast and all this kind of information. That stuff that you will hear on television constantly. Uh, someone brought to me the other day, a, uh, not the other day but some time ago, the uh, brochure that they had received in Winter Haven. And it's, uh, they're in Lakeland. You may see one of these yourself. And it also has a uh, End time information, here's a fellow with 666 up here on his head. Prophecy expo exposition, and this is usually at the Seventh-day Adventist churches. Uh, here is, uh, just pick up some of these things to illustrate the fact that we need to think and study about this. Here is one, are you ready for the rapture? Here's a pair of shoes with uh, nobody in it, and somebody has been zapped up and uh, they're no longer there. That goes along with one of these uh, areas of study. Here is a, a church in, Saint, in uh, Winter Haven, and it has a church building and cars and, and shows kind of ghostly figures that's leaving this, and they're supposed to be illustrating what's taking place at the rapture. A more recent uh, area that you may have heard about, books, and you see in religious bookstores in general, and also has been made into a series of uh, movie-type uh, presentation, Left Behind. So you may have heard some of these things, and it's all related to the subject that we're discussing. Now, let me just introduce it another way. When I was preaching full-time in Clearwater in the early 80s, there was a gentleman that uh, made a great deal of uh, excitement in the area because he's saying, Deadline, 1981, mockers beware. And there was articles in the newspaper. I was interviewed by the press asking me my opinion on it, the articles here in the paper. But this is simply saying that here are people now, it was supposed to happen in 1981. Well, it didn't happen, obviously. And here is another booklet that came out uh, in 1988. And it states 88 reasons why the rapture will be in 88. Well, what does this say? It says somebody is mixed up. All of these cannot be true newspaper articles here that we're talking about is going to happen soon. You say, well, you hear a lot about Antichrist. Well, who is the Antichrist? He's about to happen. Well, a few years ago, I got a publication from Seventh-day Adventist Church. They've got Ronald Reagan on there as the Antichrist. Well, uh, that's something didn't work out, did it? And so you have all kinds of things that's floating around that people are hearing. And uh, if we don't know what the Bible says, and if we're not versed in the teaching of the Bible, we won't know whether these things are true or not. And so it's important for us to realize that there's a lot of things stated that are not true. I like to refer to it because I think I can sustain it, that this material here that you're reading and hearing about and seeing on television is religious fiction. It has nothing to do with what the Bible teaches about the establishment of the Lord's church, the establishment of the kingdom which Peter had the keys to that began in the first century. It's not something.